Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. My name is Asma. From today, I am going to start a new series of full stack Spring Boot Angular application. We will create a RESTful API of CRUD operations. So let me give you the overview of the application structure and the project overview. Okay, so let me open here the Intel IJ and here you can see the Spring Boot application is running on port 8080 and here is the Spring Boot application. So to save the data into the database, retrieve, update, delete data with the Spring Boot started data jpa and for the database i have used here the mysql connector in the mysql database okay so here is the mysql database you can see here the database name that is crud underscore db and under the crud underscore db you can see here the customer table and here is the vs code you can see here and the application is port running on port 4200 so in the angular application i have used here the routing and the components to implement the functionality of the CRUD operations in front and angular so i have integrated this angular with the spring boot let's go to our ui you can see here it's running on port 4200 so let me open here localhost colon 4200 after successfully running you can see here the details of the customer that's stored in the database that is a name email phone and the action so every row have two buttons you can see here update and delete and here you can see post a new customer let me click on this button and it will navigate to a post customer component you can see here the routing is also changed in the url and here is the form to post a new customer so let me add here a new customer that is customer 4 and i'm putting inputting here the email and the form so let's click on this post button for this let me open here the inspect so let's click on this button and here you can see we got a response from our backend so the id we got that is 11 email name and phone so let's back to our get all customer component and here you can see the customer we got from our backend let me click on this row so you can see here the id that is one let me click on this customer two row you can see here the id we got that is three okay we are getting the id from the url and uh, all the api from the our backend that is get customer by id so after getting the record by id i have patched the customer into the form okay so after that the user will click on this update button to save the updated record so let me open here the console again and i'm putting here like name is usman and the email is usman at the red example.com and the phone is remain same so let's click on this update button and here you can see that we got the response from our backend that is id3 and the email name is updated one and the phone is same so let's back to our get all customer component and here you can see the name and the email is updated successfully okay so you can see the delete button so let me click on this delete button okay so you can see the response we got from our backend is null and we got the updated record this is the complete overview of our project in the next video we will start the proper implementation of the project and hope you like this video if you have any confusion you can do comment and also subscribe to my channel for more videos and hit the bell icon thank you take care bye